scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. We believe, we believe, Lord, we believe, Lord, we believe, we believe, Lord, we believe, oh, Lord. unto him must believe that he is Hebrews 11 verse 6 and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Every time you come before his presence you must realize that there is a reward for seeking him. You are not wasting your time. For he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. He's called the prince of peace. When he comes he truly gives you peace. Peace is not just quietness and rest. It gives you peace. He said, peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives. His presence brings peace. His presence brings confidence. Every time you behold his glory, you see how small those mountains are. This is a sign that you are in his presence. Lord, we thank you. I have a very serious message tonight for the body of Christ. Very, very serious. It's a very prophetic message. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to be ambassadors. Not only ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven, but help your brothers and sisters and families. There are many messages that have come out from here that offer guidance, direction, prophetic accuracy and insight to help a lot of people. We made our messages free. Ministries sell tapes and messages and make hundreds of millions from it. But the time for that will come. We are more interested in getting the agenda of the Spirit to the nations as many who will be interested in hearing. Let me tell you something without missing words. We have a message. We're not just crouching for what to say. For the Bible says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. The Spirit is speaking. 
helping us to have an understanding of times and seasons to comprehend the things of the spirit and we thank God because he is granting us grace to build according to pattern we are that uncompromising remnant who will not defile ourselves with the meat of Babylon that has corrupted many great men we have chosen the path of the spirit and in spite of the pain it will bring we will endure we are this army determined to stand until we become all that he has destined us to be and let me tell you something it may take a while but as surely as the morning comes after a night a day will come it will take long but I have an assurance that a time will come when the word of God will be scarce. And whoever has that word will run with it. The price you are paying now is nothing compared to the price men will pay for their ignorance. This is why God is exposing us to his truth. Never take for granted the things that God is doing. This is not a church. You have your church where you worship on Sunday. This is an agenda. This is a program. This is a prophetic agenda. This is what God is doing. Hallelujah. So I like to prepare your heart. Never take for granted. Don't just come casually. For every time he calls you to a banquet, a table has been prepared before you hallelujah and if you will believe him enough to realize you're not wasting your time then the time of laughter will come the bible says it is as soon as zion travails the time of traveling is painful every great man knows that the birth of anything valuable is painful some of you had to trek to come here some of you probably have not eaten anything there are families this family this whole family father mother and all the children left kogi states this morning to come what are they looking for for as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. I see Barista from Abuja. What you think people just come? You see, this is where what men of God don't get. We celebrate these things and just think this is a sign of increase in ministry. This is nonsense. It's my desire that this place becomes a portal where. The voice of the spirit will not be scarce that we will not become part of the noise making preachers talking junks who are out of alignment with the things of the spirit that God will put his word he said he gave me the scroll and I did eat it and he said go and prophesy hallelujah that every time you come here, you will hear the counsel of the Spirit. Not the opinion of a man. Not the program, a doctrinal program of a sect or a religion. But that you will find God. This is why we depend so much in the Holy Spirit. It's not diabolism. We have come to realize that He's the only one who can help us fulfill this agenda. We are perpetually inadequate without Him. That's why you hear us talk so much about the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people have a serious problem with that. But Jesus sent us the Spirit to make us like Him. He's the Holy Ghost. He's the Spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost, the scepter of the King of Kings. Yeah. He's the Holy Ghost, the seal of the age to come. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Jesus told us, he said, and when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. 
he will bring to your remembrance all the things that I've taught you and he will show you he will take off the things that are of the father and show you Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says call unto me and I will answer I will show you not common things but great and mighty things that you know not an apocalypse an unveiling of that which has been hidden the Bible tells us that there are certain mysteries that have been hidden from the church. Appointed for a kind and a type of people. And Paul begins to, text, to tell the Corinthian church, he said, eye has not seen. That means no dimension of prophetic eye before now will be able to access those archives. They are under lock and key have been sealed until the time appointed. The Bible says the prophets kept stretching through their prophetic eyes to look into those times, but it was not given unto them. He said, neither has any ear heard what God has prepared for them that love him. But the Bible says these mysteries will be granted unto a generation. Not necessarily just because of our prayer lives. It is part of the prophetic mandate of the spirit for a type and a kind of generation. Hallelujah. That generation, that prophetic and apostolic generation that will step in in beauty and light. There is a kind of revelation and access into deep spiritual things. In other words, the knowledge and the access we've had hitherto is good, but it cannot sustain us in these new seasons that we're stepping into. And so there is a need to cry unto God to say, Lord, let there be an opening of the seal so that those things that have been hidden aforetime, that the scrolls will be opened and the seals will be broken. So that these things that have been hidden, that even the great prophets could not access, would it be open unto a generation. But it will always take men who will defy the status quo and begin to press and say, Lord, show us. Open our eyes. Open our eyes that we may see. We are tired of recycling messages that have stopped people from moving higher. Oh Lord, that you will break that seal. And the Lord says, if you call unto me out of that revelation. For when the people of God were in captivity in Babylon, Daniel understood by books that after 70 years, it was the time of their liberation and exodus out of Babylon. And the Bible says, on the strength of that insight, he began to intercede. And suddenly, Gabriel, the archangel in service, was going to bring the prophetic blueprint. He said, I, Gabriel, am come to give thee understanding. Because every time God sends a revelation, it is signified by an angel. Revelations 1 by 1 verse 1. The Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto his servant John, that he should show unto his servant, and he gave it and signified it by his angel. Every time there are angels that convey revelations and guide the safe arrival of those revelations. That's why to every church there were angels assigned. Their job is to make sure that the blueprint of the spirits that have been revealed will arrive safely. The Bible says, while Gabriel was on his way, the prince of the power of the air, the spiritual wickedness that governed the territory of Persia, attempted to stop him. And as he continued traveling, he wouldn't give up. The Bible says, Michael, the archangel, came. And that message was brought. There must be a generation. Ruth Heflin left this prophecy before she went to be with the Lord. She said there is a generation that will reveal the glory of God. It will no longer be church as usual. God is doing a new thing. I'm announcing to you. I've shared it here again and again and I've been criticized for it. The old wine has finished. There is a blowing of a new trumpet. It's not the old. It says after two days he will revive us. But on the third day, he will raise us up. 
There are many people who have gone out of sync with spiritual things. The sounds of the spirit are now strange and foreign to them because of all of the benefits that may come with ministry. But let me tell you, there are a people who are determined to stay. He said, the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets. There are secrets. He will grant you access to do business in deep waters. And you will uncover things. This is what God is training you to become. Happy are you when God finds you faithful. Happy are you when God finds you uncompromising. It takes death to bring certain dimensions of glory into the earth realm. But happy are you. Hallelujah. I want to share with you very powerfully this night. I want to show you by the Spirit of God where the church is in the prophetic blueprint of the ages. It's important for us to know that we are playing prophecy. We are prophecy in motion. Hallelujah. The entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is an unfailing, an unveiling of prophetic things. Hallelujah. Every story in the Bible, everything that has been written has its natural meaning, but has its prophetic meaning. Everything. An adumbration of the things that God wants to do. The wedding in Cana, for instance, was a type of the old wine and the new wine that is coming to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. It's very important. Thank you, Jesus. The first thing I want to share with you is the current agenda. Of the kingdom of darkness i have been very concerned please take tonight's teaching very seriously i have been very concerned at the deafness of even those who call themselves prophets i'm going to say some things tonight that will disturb a number of you to the agenda of the darkness the bible says that we be not ignorant of the devices the word devices there means the structure and the methodology do not be ignorant in other words your ignorance will not become good for you do not be ignorant there is a plot there is an agenda of darkness listen every generation and every dispensation has had satan coming in to corrupt the things that God would want to do. In the Garden of Eden, the Bible says that Satan came in all subtlety, having been thrown down. There was judgment in heaven, the Bible tells us. And Lucifer, that cherub that covereth, who wanted to arise, he said, I will arise and be as the stars of God. I want to be God by myself. And the Bible says there was war in heaven. And he fell with a third of the angels. Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. It was his fall and the preceding judgment that led to Genesis 1 verse 2. And the earth was dark and void. Formless. Let me announce to you that hell is not some mystery. I've said it again and again. Hell is right in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hell is not just a location, but hell is a spirit. The Bible says death, hell, and the grave will be cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is not demonic. The lake of fire is part of the kingdom of God. It was designed for the judgment of Satan and all who are in fraternity and partnership with him. So there is an agenda. In the days of Noah, the Bible makes us to understand that the fallen angels, because they have the ability to translate themselves, they started translating themselves and intermingling with the daughters of men in an attempt to corrupt the race. That was the agenda of Satan during that dispensation. 
Hallelujah. When God raised a prophet, Elijah the Tishbite, the Bible tells us that there was a very strange woman, a prophetic type of the mystery Babylon called Jezebel. Every time God has a, an agenda, Satan always has a strategy and a plot. And not knowing it can cause believers severe casualty. When Jesus began to admonish the seven churches that were spread across Asia Minor, a type of the prophetic churches, a, a type of the church age, for every church that he commended, he began to reveal to them the plots of Satan. For certain churches, he began to tell them that there were certain churches that were the churches of Satan, where Satan sat. Others, he warned them that the strategy of the devil is to make men look warm and to say, I have acquired this wealth. In every generation and every prophetic agenda of God, there is a strategy. The Bible says, do not be ignorant. And I want to share with you right now the strategy that the devil would want to use to cause the sons in light to abort the prophetic agenda that God has for us. You ready? Number one, deception. 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 Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Look at me. Deception is the art of bringing men into error. Are you listening to me? To bring men into error, to cause a disaligning. To bring men into error. There is a lot, one of the things, one of the biggest problems of the church, and even the church in Nigeria right now, is the spirit of deception. It's a terrible agenda by the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And the Bible begins to warn us that this deception can be so great, even the elect can be deceived if care is not taken. There are lots of things going on in our churches and going on in various places. And because many men of God are not standing close to the ark, there's so much deception. Popular things that look nice but are, are orchestrated by the devil. Many doctrines that we uphold today, they are the doctrines of the Nicolaitans. Metaphysical doctrines. They look nice. They look great. They inspire us. But they are not of God. How did it become like this? One mentor teaching another. Somebody going for conference and getting it. Somebody sharing his testimony. Deception. Hmm. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. God knew that these kinds of things will arise. And it was on account of this that he gave unto men gifts. It's a shame upon the fivefold ministry. That we do not even realize why God anointed and carved out the structure of the fivefold ministry. It's not for jamboree. Not for competition. Not to show which office is greater than which. Are you there? Verse 7. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are people. Now he that has ascended, what is it but he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended, you see that? He descended to the lower parts of the earth. Jesus went to hell. And the Bible calls it the lower part of the earth. Not the lower part outside the earth. Hallelujah. Verse 11. He gave unto some apostles. Listen please. M-O-G, listen carefully. He gave unto some apostle. To some prophets. To some evangelists, to some 
pastors and teachers why for launching answer me for building ministries and empires for celebrating vain accomplishments that have no corresponding effect in the spirit the bible says for the perfecting equipping maturing building up structuring of the saints that's why he gave the gifts that they the saints will now do the work of the ministry to the end that we all come into the unity of faith and of the knowledge epignosis accurate knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of the fullness of the stature of the fullness of christ and even that growth is to an end verse 14 read together that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine now listen he said by the slight of men and the crowning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deception deception there is a lot of deception going on in the body of Christ and a lot of people don't want to speak why because they don't want to they hate the injury let me tell you something if you do not want to stand the pain of ministry go and get a job just go somewhere we have a lot of men of god who are afraid of their ego their reputation and they will not alert the body when there is danger the bible says not many of you should presume to be teachers because you will be judged hallelujah there is a lot of deception in the body of christ a lot of gospels colossians 2 verse 8 can we look at that quickly thank you jesus presence of god is strong in this place colossians 2 verse 8 the agenda of the devil are you there one to read it's projected beware lest any man spoil you stop the word spoil there is let any man make you a spoil you know when when let any man plunder you cheat you let any man spoil you through what what is hold on what is philosophy what is philosophy nice well crafted entertaining intelligent intellectual presentation of scripture the bible calls it philosophy and what vain deceit is that in your bible it says after what the tradition of men and after fraternity with this world based on the principles and concepts that have evolved from men who brought it about without the presence of god after the redument this is what is happening in many churches after the rediments of this world but not after christ we have emulated a lot of junks and things that have no spiritual bearing we have read all kinds of unbelievers have written entrepreneurial books on how to run a church like a business empire and we have people who are gullible they went for retreats but not to pray they went to sit down and listen to doctrines of devils and they have learned all kinds of demonic ways of manipulation and seductions and they are deceiving the body of christ after the rediment of the world are you are you hearing me tonight with my mouth shall i make it known from the rising of the sun right until it's going down 
I will preach of the mercies of the Lord. Some of us are already being deceived right now. There are all kinds of metaphysical deceit. Please hear me. Some of us in our innocence, we have mentored men that are misleading us in the name of deceit. Praise the Lord. There are many churches right now that do all kinds of satanic and demonic things. The man of God has special members they take to the river. They do all kinds of demonic satanic things. Because they read the Bible does not mean it's of God. There are men of God that add the word of God with all kinds of satanic books. 12 books of Moses. 11 books of Moses. All kinds of metaphysical, philosophical, sociological junks. We put it together. The fact that you are compromising and seeing results does not mean it's God. There are natural principles. And men by nature are gullible. That a crowd is coming like this does not necessarily verify that we are of God. Hallelujah. Many of us like results. Anything that looks like results, we just go hook, line, and sink. But may the Lord grant us eyes to see. May we see the handwritings on the wall and see that for many people it is written mene, mene, tekel, ufesen. God is saying we have been weighing you for a long time you have been misleading people God has been weighing you but Ikabod, the glory will depart from many churches and Ezekiel was caught up in the spirit and when Ezekiel went by the spirit to the temple he saw the atrocities that were happening in the temple yet the men of God were still dressing nice Wearing suits, wearing kaftan like me. Having flowers around, but they are not of God. Deceiving people and being deceived themselves. Lord, grant us ears to hear and eyes to see. There are an evolution of erroneous doctrines please listen to me some of these doctrines have been so long in the body of Christ they are popular we like them you hear them on TV people can attest to have received results from them but I tell you the truth they are not of God when Moses threw his rod Pharaoh also threw his rod and they all became serpents Hallelujah. The Bible says, come out of her. Come out. It was a cry to the Zion of God. Come out of her. Be not partakers of her hollow tree. So that you will not participate in her, in her plagues. And the deception is twofold. Number one, erroneous doctrines popular but erroneous doctrines well received but erroneous doctrines result producing but erroneous doctrines number two listen look up please the second so the first dimension of the deception is a reception of doctrines that may be popular listen don't get me wrong some of the people who advocate these doctrines are innocent people Genuinely called of God. Hallelujah. The second is deception to come, listen. I think this second one is even more, is worse than the first dimension of deception. Where people refuse to open up themselves to the greater light and the truth of God's word because of their ego and what it will cost them. Are you listening to me? 
There are men who would rather die than to begin to explore the new things they are hearing to find out whether they are wrong. There are churches and denominations that will never change. It doesn't matter even if, it's, if Jesus appears to them. They have built a reputation around their doctrines too much. It, it, they will have to die. Many people will not adjust. Rather, they will criticize any truth that is beyond their comprehension. I, I said it during the teachings, the full, the full gospel. There are people who have mistakenly been convinced that they are the alpha and omega of all the keys of revelation of the kingdom and that the sphere of all that they know is all that there is in God. This is another kind of deception. The best any man can be is an effective member of the body. So we have men who are arrogant. I once had a man of God make a very arrogant statement that even if for any reason he has cause to read another man's book, even if he reads it, he will see a lot of things through that book that even the author did not see. I said, look at it. See that? That's what stopped the scribes from receiving the message of Jesus. Because they had known all the books, the Pentateuch. They were the doctors and philosophers of that time. They had every knowledge that they needed. So when Jesus came with a simple message, thy kingdom come, by your will being done, they rejected it because it did not appeal to them. And when they found out that the whole town was running in sincere hunger, just like many people do today, they began to criticize and made it a point of duty that Jesus would die. But his death only escalated the message. And today, millions and billions of people are receiving this truth. It takes a childlike heart. One of the biggest deceptions in the church right now is the ego to accept the fact that, look, could it be that this that I've held on to, could it be wrong? Or could it be that it may not be wrong, but there is a higher light? Are you listening to me? There are truths that are not wrong. The Bible says he made many lights. Those lights gave illumination in their capacity. But then God made two great lights. Let me give you an advice. You must posture yourself consistently. Listen to me. You must posture yourself. Open up yourself and be in a position of perpetual realignment. Because revelation is progressive. That is a sign that you are making progress in the spirit. As you begin to explore the deep things of God, you will begin to see clearer. The Bible says Jesus touched his eyes and he saw men but he saw them like trees. If Jesus had left him, he would argue that men are like trees. But then he touched his eyes again. And the Bible says he began to see clearly. Open our eyes, O God, that we may behold wondrous things out of thy law. There has been an inaccurate interpretation of the truth of God's word. Inaccurate. And let me tell you something. When it comes to the accurate interpretation of God's word. It's not about Bible college and theological study. It's about the spirit of prophecy. Because the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Deception. Some of our family members today have been taught that when they leave a particular man of God, their destiny goes with him. Have you, have you had that kind of gospel? Where the man of God ties himself and says, you are tied to the oil on my life. If you leave, you will fail. It's called the doctrine of the Lycolatians. It came from the pit of hell. Popular, result producing, but erroneous. 
this does not come from God. The reason why many men of God like it is because it's lucrative. It has a lot of financial benefits. If I can have 10 wealthy people tied to my oil, men have just found ways to camp and to ease away their insecurities and frustrations. So they create gospels that try to make them feel secured by threatening people around. It came from the devil. Some of you are already doing it. Stop it tonight. You are being in deception. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God never gave man authority to usurp authority over another person. The concept of fatherhood and mentorship is not idolatry. It's to guide and instruct in righteousness. Oh, but there is a change. There is a change. I tell you, there is a change. Things will not be as they have always been. There is the hand of God bringing judgment and bringing redemption because there are many people that are in this error innocently both men of God and people we used to believe some of these things years ago but as we began to explore every time we believed it something in our hearts told us uh -uh, go back and like the Bereans we went back and when we began to explore we found out that there were a lot of question marks they did a lot of filling the gap and we said no way what is supposed to be in that gap this is what the lord has been there are many of you when you hear a message it's not like you are cynical something in your spirit tells you go back go back when other people are shouting whoa god says uh-uh fill in that gap before you rejoice filling the gap it's deception it's deception is happening fast fast there are deceptive church growth principles that are taught in ministers conferences deceptive diabolical occultic church growth principles there are deceptive church fundraising principles popular seemingly result producing but hear this voice tonight I'm speaking to you. John said, I am the voice of one. They said, who are you? Where do you belong? Which camp do you belong? John said, uh -uh, this is not an issue of camp. I am just a voice. One of the first assignments of the spirit of prophecy is to destroy the altars of Baal that a new one be built. Deception. The strength of the kingdom of darkness is ignorance. For as long as the body of Christ remains in ignorance, ignorance, the inaccurate understanding of scriptures. Revelation is not an opinion of man, it's an unfailing of that which has been hidden and that happens by the spirit of God deception hallelujah number two agenda of the devil for the church in this season is going to shock you what I'm about to say distractions through religious activities are you hearing what I'm saying destructive religious activities hmm. you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all dominion you have taken all the praise you have made them yours the highest praise to the king he will take all the glory. He will take all the praise. He will take all dominion. He will take all the praise. He will make it yours. 
Paul seeing and speaking to the Hebrew church, he said, "With all things have been made under the feet of Jesus. He said, but we do not yet see. Although from heaven's perspective it has been so, there is still a contention in the earth realm. That's why God will use voices to make that a reality. That Christ will submit to the authority of the Father. The church will submit to the authority of Christ. And by the agents of the Spirit, the Spirit and the Bride will compel cosmos to come under the authority of the church. This is the agenda of God for the nations. So there is a plot. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is a, a shoot out from the spirit of deception. Distractions. There is no time in the church age where believers have activities. Everybody say after me, activities. There are, there, are, there are churches that are organizing programs every day. Every day. Every day. That's what they read from their books. Engage the members and they won't leave your church. So they read it. It was written by a business expert and a consultant. It looks popular, but let me tell you the truth. You can criticize me, I'm used to it, but I will tell you. These things look popular. Let me tell you where this spirit came from. Hold on. Do you realize that when the nation of Israel were in captivity in Egypt, hallelujah, when Moses came as a deliverer, what happened? The moment he went to Pharaoh and said, God is already making preparation to get the people out. Pharaoh said, ah, let's use a strategy. He said, give them more work. It is because they are idle that they even have the gods to begin to consider an exodus. Occupy them. And when they had the work, it was too much. They told Moses, they said, forget about this issue of exodus now. Because now they are making us look for straw. Every time Satan sees a people waiting. Do you know how many times the Bible talks about the benefit of waiting? I bring you the counsel of the spirit. There is too much distraction. Activities everywhere. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not saying everybody who is involved in this is false. You get my point? I'm just trying to plot out to you. We think the impact is in the motions. But the Bible says it is they that wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings. There are many men of God right now who are under pressure pressure to do any and everything just finding activities because they believe that once there is motion who taught us facebook twitter the more you create activities the more people come to your side it is that business strategy we brought to the church because we think the church is facebook so we think when we keep engaging the people it will show that we are increasing. The average believer has no knowledge of the truth of God's word that he can use to stand alone. That's why we depend on pastors. People, I'm not saying spiritual authorities and ministers. No, we, are not, we have a place in the body of Christ. But where you become so dependent, as though if you leave the person, you will die. You are already on the road to deception. And men of God pride themselves. How many sons and daughters, you know, when people come to me and talk about submission, I feel like running away because I cannot understand what they are saying. Aaron, my son, ah, me. When you visit the secret place, you'll be ashamed of taking some titles. It will take God to force you and say, just for organization. Yeah, this is the pride of people. They fight it. Some men have the F-1 tree to say, this is my earthly father, but he's my spiritual son. Shame on both the man and his revelation. 
It's a sign of immaturity. We think it is great pride because they clap for you after the statement. Talk is cheap. Distraction. Religious activities where Christ is not the focus. Can I tell you the truth? Look at me. I'm going to tell you a truth you may not hear in many places. Over 70% of the weekly religious activities that are happening in many of the Christian circles are only aimed at increasing the ministry and getting the job going. Christ is less, if at all, a focus in most of these programs. Forget about what we men of God do on stage. We can kneel down and cry and ushers will bring this and will clean book. Imagine holding. I'm just trying to show you all the benefits. If you gather 100,000 people non stop for 100 days, do you know how much you will raise? Is it lucrative or not? Not to talk of those who will sow into your life by being blessed. Now, I'm not saying every gathering is wrong. But I'm telling you, many of these gatherings are just a, a... They don't teach you. I'm telling you this. They don't share it in congregations. Go, you don't have the opportunity to go for a minister's conference. They will look at you and say, are you a minister? Go out. I am telling you. And people discuss it boldly. But let there be a generation that will not adulterate itself with corruption and error. Many of you will be the only voices some communities will have to hear. The Bible says there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect. Will you allow your voice to be corrupted? There is a way of getting all of these things. Look at me. While I was preparing to come, I was taking my bath and the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. And I was angry in my spirit about the ways people raise money in church. And then the Lord told me something. He said, listen, listen. I don't know of any church in the world. I don't know of any auditorium in the world that can seat 2 million people comfortably. I don't know of any. The largest gathering in the world that has happened is 6 million people within a span of 3 days. Only 3 days. They could not manage them. But Moses worked with more than 3 million people for a long time. How did he cater for their need? What system was used? There is no auditorium I know on earth, church auditorium, that is as expensive as the temple of Solomon. How did they do it? Were the people so wealthy like that or was there a spiritual principle we are missing out? They had enough. I don't know one church that has stopped members and said this is enough except it's just emotional frivolities by the pastor. You say, oh, it's enough. Don't bring more money. But David meant it. He, was, he had enough to start building the temple. What are we missing, church of the Lord Jesus Christ? distraction there are many of you it is when you started getting unnecessarily distracted that your spiritual life started dying are you following me now you started with god you started celebrating ministrations every day this is how busy my itinerary is in the morning i'm here i don't have time for you i have one in the evening then tomorrow and you started calling it ministry expansion because at the end of it there is an envelope you calculate everything that's somebody's salary your money in a week is somebody's salary and he said lord thank you you spoke to me that the oil of my life will speak be careful because you will not know when you will fall the bible says let he that thinks he stands take heed lest he fall this is what has killed men of God. Many men of God started on fire, but they became administration, administrators. I try as much as possible, and we try in this ministry to do less of administration. God gave us wisdom to create robust administrative structures so that we can focus on the ministry of the word and prayer. Because let me tell you, 
Some of you are already receiving all kinds of invitations. You think that a door is opening means it's God that opened it. Be careful. I pray on every ministration before I honor it. I don't care who is bringing it. You ask the protocol department and they will tell you. Because I do not want to be found doing what God has not sent me to do. When he sends you, he will defend you. When you send yourself, you will defend yourself. Hallelujah. These are unpopular parts. But choose whether to be a celebrity in the eyes of men or to be a voice that men can listen whenever they want to hear the counsel of God. I choose the latter. That I will be a voice. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Look at me. Many of you may need to make resolutions this night. Look at me, please. Listen. I want you, as you go back this night, go and edit the things you do with your 24 hours and see how much Satan has choked you with activities that have no eternal relevance. I am telling you the truth. Is that true? Just take out time and in all sincerity through the lens of truth and of the word of God, edit your 24 hours and see how many things you do within your 24 hours that actually leads you towards purpose and has an eternal relevance. You will understand that this is a, this is a strategy from Satan to distract us. I've taken out time to edit my life Especially in this phase of our lives. Look at me. There are some things that are not necessarily evil, but they are weights at this level of life. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, Hebrews 12 verse 1, it says, Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. They are not necessarily sins, but they are weights. Lamentations 3.27 he said, it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. Some of you may never be great in life because you are not ready to take the burden now. The strength, the glory of young people is in their strength. Pay the price. Now you have the energy to fast. Some of our parents cannot endure that again. But now you have strength. So take advantage of the strength you have right now. Your mind is still alive and active. Explore. Pay the price. I won't deceive you. You will cry. It will cost you something. But when weeping is done, you will rejoice forever. Let's hurry up. The third plot, Satan, is fraternity with Babylon. Friendship. Friendship with Babylon. The Bible says, love not the world. The word love there is do not develop a lust, a craving. Love not the world or the things that are in this world. The word world there is the word system. Are you listening to me? Some people have religiously said, aha, uh -huh. why are you driving a nice car? Why are you doing this? Why are we buying this? We are wasting money. Please, this is not what the Bible is talking about. This is another religion. It is in category one. You know, the deception thing. No. God is not against your looking good. Lazarus with all his poverty is in heaven. Abraham with his wealth is in heaven. It's not because they were rich or poor that they missed heaven or didn't get there. You can have a productive life on earth and have eternal relevance. I choose that option. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? But it says, love not the world or the things that are in this world. It says, whoever loves the world, period, without argument, the love of the Father is not in him. Loss of the eyes, loss of the flesh, pride of life. Some of us have a craving for vanities. When God wants you to sit down and study, you say, ah, 
there's one car exhibition they are doing somewhere it's not wrong but compared to the priority you have this is vanity are you hearing what i'm saying there are people who can be in church like this and the word of god is coming with this kind of fire that the word of god is coming check what they are doing they are trying to respond to their friend as if the friend is dying it can't wait were you dead before facebook or or all of the the social media see some of you cannot even off your phone to pray. It will be as if pin is choking you. Five minutes, just, well, you just run and say, let me check. If nobody has checked, you will send something. You are waiting for who will respond. This is, this is fraternity with Babylon. That's where some of you learned ungodly attitudes they wrote poems and jokes that are satanic and anti-progress anti-greatness you saw it read it absorbed it and you are using it see how your life started nose diving many people got into satanic relationships men of god online now, I know that these things have been used very well. There, is, there are demonic sites that men of God have gone to. Demonic sites. All searching for solutions. Huh? Zodiac. Huh? Zodiac sites. You know them. You are pretending as if you don't know them. All of these sites. Click and see who your life partner is. Or click and see how long you have to live. They say you are dying next week. He say, I'm coming for Koinonia. <laughs> Who asked you to go and click it? You put your date of birth, everything, the name of your intending spouse, he brought out your life. He said you have suffering and death afterwards. <sighs> you just say, I want to see you. Some things have been going on in my life. What is it? You carried your hands and you went and tied yourself. fraternity longer throat has taken some people they've gone to places where they shouldn't go said yes to things and people they should not say yes to he who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls i refuse i refuse to fraternize with babylon not her methods not her way of life because the bible says babylon the great is falling he said her and all the kings of the earth that have benefited in her merchandise he said this great harlot babylon in one hour her glory has been turned to shame it will be sudden and the bible tells us come out of her come out of her god is speaking to somebody tonight come out of her Go and re-edit your life. Re-edit your life. There are some of you ladies here. You can have 10 to 20 boyfriends. From the film you watch, they said that's how to be a correct girl. Rich, poor, average, in case anyone that works. You hear a message like this now and think we're just sweating and talking nonsense and you'll be hardened. And if they ask, they say, what kind of man do you want to marry? You say, I want him to be serious with God. He must be a disciplined man. Is it a fair combination? Look at the way your life is. Everybody say after me, I will stand out. I hope as you are laughing, the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. Deception, destruction, fraternity with Babylon. Let me tell you the agenda of God now. We cannot just talk about the things that the devil is doing. What is God doing? The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times and they knew what to do. The spirit and the bride say come.
Let me tell you what is happening in the body of Christ right now. Look at me. The Bible says, before the day of the Lord, please listen. It tells us that something is going to happen. What will happen? It said, Elijah shall come again before the day of the Lord. Why will Elijah come? What does Elijah represent? The transfiguration of Jesus Christ. When Jesus was transfigured, two people stood by his left and right. Is that correct? One was Elijah. The other was Moses representing the law and the prophet. Notice that all the people that represent major spiritual truths that should not be aborted, though they died, but their body did not touch this earth. Because their, their representation is an adumbration. Are you listening to me? If Moses' body dies and is buried in the earth, and this is, I'm going to say something that will create a lot of controversy right now. Moses represents the law. This is a very shocking thing. It's against what has been preached. But did you notice that against our popular messages, Moses, his body is not in the earth. Elijah represents the prophet. The prophetic has not finished. So Elijah did not touch the earth. I won't say more than that. Sila, let he that has an ear hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Popular but wrong. Hmm. Let's continue. The Bible says Elijah will come, Malachi. It says, before the great day of the Lord. Listen. Every time Jesus is about to appear, whether Jesus as a person or his prophetic agenda, Elijah always foreruns him. Are you following me now? Before Elijah came in the New Testament, before Jesus came, what happened? John the Baptist came where? In the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of prophecy. And the Bible says before Jesus will come again, there will be a manifestation of Elijah. So, don't be surprised if you see a manifestation of prophets. But let me tell you where the problem is wrong. Elijah is not manifesting as a miracle worker. Elijah is manifesting to bring accurate knowledge of the understanding of the truth. To prepare the church for the coming of Christ. Are you getting that? If you understand this, you can test prophecy at once. Because see... The clearest proof that a man is a prophet is not miracles and all of this. The clearest proof is that you can bring to us an accurate understanding of scripture. This is what tells us that you are in connection with the throne room. It said by their fruits. Their fruits is not character. Character can be deceptive. Their fruit is their message. Right now, many people believe if your pastor is a prophet, I apologize. I'm not, I'm not against. I have people that are prophets. I know they are of God. We, we, we have times dedicated. We live in the miraculous here. But I'm telling you, listen to me. The primary function of prophets in this day is not to check how much you have in your account and say, promise, stand up. 331 302 Eight seven nine one one ten. That's my account number. <laughs> you see that, and you say Jesus. Now that's the manifestation of the gift. But if that is all we think prophecy is about, that's not the true portrait of the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elijah first comes. The first assignment is to correct errors. By the accurate understanding. This is what we call epignosis. Epignosis is not just a Greek terminology to write books and sell. Uh -uh. Epignosis means the accurate understanding of truth. And this one is by revelation. There is no school that will teach it. The spirit of God will overshadow a man and bet something. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. He said the power of the highest will overshadow you. 
there are men who God is overshadowing right now. God is mantling, closing them like a coven and birthing dangerous dimensions of spiritual truth. That's the spirit of Elijah. When I talk of the spirit of prophecy, I'm not necessarily talking of the office of a prophet alone. Correcting a lot of things. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? Will he find men who will be able to align and adjust to the corrections of the truth? Are you receiving something? When, listen to me, listen to me. Before the rebuilding of Zion, there will first be a breaking down, a tearing down. Are you listening to me? Then there will be a reconstruction of the house of God not by the patterns of men hallelujah are you listening to me the sacrifice of Cain and Abel is a type of the old and the new church it's a prophetic adumbration what happened because Cain is the elder brother he believed that he understood the rudiments of giving that kind of sacrifice and the Bible says he wanted to sacrifice and do something for God but his combinations were wrong were they received and then his brother Abel, which is a type of the new church, came and put that sacrifice according to pattern. So God is revealing divine patterns on how to do spiritual things such that they become acceptable sacrifices. And this will cause the way we run ministry as we know to change for many ministries. Happy are ministries that can align and take the pain and, and forget about the ego and allow it to happen. But for those who will not change, mene, mene, tekel, ufesen. You have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. Hallelujah. So the first thing that God is doing right now is correcting errors let me tell you don't confuse this this is what is happening in the body of christ god is raising prophetic and apostolic voices who are coming after the order of elijah with the spirit of prophecy which is the testimony of jesus christ their focus and everything they do by votes and leads people directly to the christ of god and they will come with grace they will deliver mysteries that are uncommon. The fact that these mysteries are uncommon does not mean it is not of God. It will be resisted, but that which is born of God always overcomes. So eventually, light will surpass darkness. It will be strange. When Jesus came, bringing the gospel of the kingdom, the Bible says, the people say, from whence cometh this man? He speaks as one with authority and not as the scribes. The Bible says, when they saw the miracles and the things he did, they said, we have never seen it in this fashion. That means there is a fashion that is coming. And that's why God is preparing you. That you are hearing this message tonight, I want you to know that you are part of the agenda of God. Are you listening to me? That you are hearing this message, whether inside or outside. That you are hearing this message and for as many around this country and the world who will hear this message and those who are streaming online I'm telling you that there is an agenda and for you to be hearing this message you are part of it just as god is using me there are many prophetic voices scattered around the world not many as it were but many in that they are within reach that God is raising, the message is the same. The expressions must be different because we are different, but the passion and the communications of the spirit is the same. Preparing the bride. It is the spirit and the bride that will ask this word to come. Can you just pray in tongues as you're seated in one minute? 
Yes, Lord, we hear your voice. We hearken unto the voice of the Spirit. And we understand the handwritings that you are writing on the wall. You must open your heart. Some of the things I've shared have challenged some of you. Search the scriptures and you will find that the word of God is consistent. Come on, just just express your spirit in, in one or two minutes. The remnant of the house of Jacob. The uncompromising generation kept under the custody of Obadiah 7,000 who have refused to bow to Baal. Yeah, 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 Come on, ventilate your spirit. Just let it find expression. Yeah, I will continue outside. Make sure you are stretching. We hear the sounds of the spirit. Ascend to the hill of the Lord. We press higher in the spirit. Shema patala maniketaya. Shema niana maskaniana. It may cost us now, but we will pay the price. We will soar to the spirit. We will labor in knowledge, uncompromising. Yeah, 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 yeah. Se barana na masia, so let it rain. of heaven let it wait yeah. let it wait would you open the floodgates of heaven 
and terrible day the spirit of Elijah will be poured upon the body of Christ and now is that time in the prophetic blueprint of the spirit where those who are interested Elijah worshippers Elijah preachers Elijah businessmen Elijah workers Elijah politicians, men crafted, forged out of the furnace of affliction with scars that represent their dealings in the spirit. Men who have endured pain, men who have endured tears, men who have died to themselves and their agendas. Elijah's in the military, Elijah's in business. It's the spirit of prophecy that will testify only of Christ and of his agenda. Listen. When the spirit of Elijah comes, the spirit of Elijah will tear down walls. The spirit of Elijah will first be destructive and then constructive. It will break down patterns that have been built after Babel. For there is a rebuilding of the tower of Babel. But the spirit of Elijah is an audacious spirit is a prophetic and apostolic spirit of prophecy that comes to correct the errors of the fathers to correct the errors and they shall be called the repairers of the bridge they shall rebuild the walls and raise the desolations of all generations they shall be called the repairers of the bridge the repairers of the bridge they will fix that which was spoiled. They will fix that which has been popular, yet not in synchrony, not in tandem with the workings of the spirit. They will have ears that are sharp. They will have eyes with the visions of an eagle. And they will be able to decipher the writings on the wall. They will hearken to the voice of his majesty and will only build the house according to divine pattern. They will introduce a fire that will burn everything and test everything. It will be a refiner's fire. They will come after the order of Elijah. That the word of God from their mouth will be like fire. It will burn. It will reshape. It will construct. Partake Barataya. They will be men of power, men of force, men of grace, men of dexterity, audacity. They will have power in the heavens. 
it is during that time that the sun will be turned into blood and there will be signs in the earth there will be wonders because the manifestation of this man I bring to you body of Christ blow the trumpet I come with an apostolic mantle sound the alarm sound the alarm the seasons are changing there is a renaissance a rebirth of the Elijah church correcting the errors of the fathers men of authentic power men of grace men of revelation and insight that have not been taught by any man comparing spiritual things with spiritual that is only taught by the agency of the Holy Ghost but take a retire those who have searched and understood where the secret place of the Most High is they have found it they've come there and they will abide under the shadow of the Almighty take us to that place let there be a burden of the Elijah church let there be a burden of the Elijah church in Abuja in Lagos in Zaria in Portacot all over Nigeria let there be a button we blow the shofar we authorize heaven Elijah's arise Elijah's arise Elijah businessmen arise Elijah preachers arise Elijah worshippers arise with the spirit of prophecy which will only testify of no denomination of no sect but the Christ of God Kingdoms will rise against kingdoms. Doctrines will rise against doctrines. Nations will rise against nations. There will be a clash of light and darkness. And the church of the Lord, built upon the rock, shall stand. Tried by fire. Men who have been battered from the furnace of pain and affliction. With no agenda of their own whatsoever. This is a message from the Lord to the body of Christ. The spirit of Elijah cometh. The spirit of prophecy. There will be a restoration of the accurate interpretation of the truth of the word. Accurate. Accurate. Given by the Holy Ghost, the one who inspired it, accurate interpretation of scriptures. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. The Lord told me that what will begin to happen is an exposition of darkness. You will hear things on media that will shock you. Darkness will be exposed. The veils that have covered the eyes of men for years will be exposed. 
Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufasen. I sound it and I prophesied as I was commanded. Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufasen. The altars of Baal, judgment is coming upon the body of Christ. And there will be a smashing down. For many have been weighed in a balance and they have been found wanting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After the destruction of the altars of Baal, the next will be a fresh walk upon the saints preparing them for the last apostolic revival that will be coming upon the earth that will be the next mission of the spirit of elijah first to tear down walls to correct error and then to begin to rebuild the saints there will be a restoration of the true apostolic the true prophetic the true evangelistic, the true pastoral and teacher offices. Then once again, men will begin to call upon the name of the God that will not be strange unto them. Men will begin to call upon the God that they know and have a working relationship with. And I tell you friends, when that begins to happen, it will announce the greatest reviver. Smith Wigglesworth prophesied it. The generals of old prophesied it. I announce to you, there is coming a reviver. Everything that will be shaken will be shaken. The newspapers will no longer carry stories of politicians the captions will be the fire of the spirit our media we will not need to pay to go on air the impact will be so great it will make news the fire will fall in nations you did not expect and then after that the heavens will be open and once again we will see him the king of kings the lord of lords the alpha and the omega he will come gloriously upon the silvery cloud and his feet will not touch the earth and the victorious church now without spot or wrinkle will be caught up and we will meet with him and it will begin another dispensation and then the spirit and the pride we say come Lord come Lord yes to your agenda yes to your agenda yes to your agenda we make way for the coming of the Lord Jesus we make way for the revival Jesus is coming preachers don't preach it again I'm telling you Jesus is coming with the blast of the archangel he will come for a victorious church his coming is soon that's why the spirit of elijah is released upon the body jesus is coming this same jesus whom you have seen go to heaven will return in the exact same manner i bring you a message jesus christ is returning to planet earth jesus christ is returning it will happen it's not a myth it's not a legend a day will come there will be no more business there will be no more APU. An agenda bigger than it will unfold. We are at the ending periods. Let him that has an ear, hear 
and give priority to the agenda of the spirit every other thing will become temporal but only one agenda will stand hallelujah hallelujah brothers and sisters hear me this is what God is doing right now right now if you've ever tried to find out where the church is in prophecy this is what God is doing right now any church any man of God you find with the spirit of Elijah tearing down the walls of Baal and building people is a true church this is how you will know them that are of God and them that are not of God and all the sorcerers and magicians and the soothsayers and the necromancers that appear they will fall together with Babylon I give you glory Lord hallelujah please let me pray for the family that came from Kogi please come tonight's message is a message to the body of Christ you're welcome sir you're welcome sir you're welcome ma you're welcome my dear welcome can you appreciate them hallelujah I want to announce to you that you are come to Mount Zion. The Spirit of God is in this place. There's no jamboree or magic. Christ is Lord here. The Lord will bring deliverance to your family. The oppression of 36 years will end. Can I pray for you? to pray for you hallelujah the Lord is showing me something about you sir it's a miracle that you are not yet dead based on the things that I'm seeing because death tried you two times this is what God is telling me yes is that true they will go to inside church he start to collapse and the Lord is telling me to tell you that death tried him two times it's the grace of God that has kept you you see and and you do nothing huh i'm seeing a bag with holes inside everything you get leaves no, i don't i don't feel it again. it's all right it's all right please please don't cry please help her with the handkerchief please somebody this is a mother for god's sake please please you can see how wicked satan is and rather than we men of god contending to bring solutions for people we are looking for names for ourselves all of you will experience the hand of God. Let me tell you, things will change. You will know you met God tonight. We are his ambassadors. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Who is there? Are you sisters? That's what I'm saying. Don't, don't worry. Don't tell me. Let me talk. Hmm? Because I need to there is, there is, there, this one is a curse. Huh? Sister, there is a curse. Any man that comes around you will just play around with your heart and pack his load and go. This is what has been happening. A very beautiful girl. Huh? But the Lord will set you free. Okay? And you, I'm going to pray for you. Because the face I'm seeing physically is not what I'm seeing in the spirit. Sir, God showed me but I didn't talk to you you are tied with snakes this is what I'm seeing from your feet to your head this is what makes him to collapse it's as if you cannot move your legs yes yes is that true it, I'm seeing but God will set you free yes. madam please don't cry please for God's sake it's okay hope comes to your family 
this is not everybody bring their pictures you brought some pictures go and bring it did you discuss this with me did you discuss this with me did you tell me you are coming with pictures the Lord who sees these things will solve your problems this where is he it's not you the devil put the spirit of hatred between you and him even the little resources to send and help you is not doing it it's not a bad person this is demonic before where where if you no see me where is that to money but in now three months you no send anything no tell me anything so let hope let it rise for darkness trembles in your holy land. Sing it one more time for this family. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Listen, when I pray for you, things will change overnight did you hear what i said things will change overnight sir this oppression will leave you right now i set you free right now the heat you're feeling is the power of God. Now, devil of death, leave him. I curse you right now. Take your hands off him. I restore to you everything you have lost. Hell. Hell. Sir. Command financial restoration, restoration of everything you have lost in the name of Jesus. It's written in God's word, blotting out every handwriting. I enforce that which has been finished from redemption, and I declare that you will walk in victory in the name of Jesus. I need to pray for you. Don't worry. Stay. That devil of darkness, leave this woman right now. You are leaving. I curse it. You are the spirit of delay. You are the spirit of death. See, something is coming out from you. Out. Out of this woman right now. I reconcile you with all your loved ones may they begin to call you and bless you let your business flourish I hold your hands and I give you the keys of blessings as an ambassador of the Most High let your times of tears end forever you will live long any curse on you be set free right now a curse on you let the curse be taken let the curse go by the blood of Jesus see there is a demon leave her leave her see this is it out 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 come out of her right now come out of her 
This is the spirit responsible for this predicament. Out! Come out of her right now. Don't. Your mother is not a witch. Are you hearing me? Please, please don't let people. This is this is just deliverance. God is doing for her. Come out! You are a foul spirit. Out of this woman right now. Out! Out! This curse of darkness. Come out of her. Stand up, madam. You are free. Stand up. God bless you. Don't cry. Please, don't cry. Please. Where is that handkerchief? Help her. Look, madam, wait. Let me explain. Don't be embarrassed. Please. Don't be embarrassed. All right? Please. Don't let anybody go on. You are not a witch. Please. Do you understand? What happens is that demons can influence people. These are curses and wickedness of the devil. So this manifestation is just the spirit living. You are free now. What you need is to fuel yourself with the word of God. My dear, let me pray for you. Because the Lord, you were the one that God used as a savior. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Let this girl go around. Let her go free right now. I curse you. Out! Come out! Out of her right now. I set you free. I set you free. I open up every door that has been closed. Return no more in Jesus' name. What's your name? Doctor, Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother. And we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside close it god is my witness welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live those who love god those who hate god and those who hate you and if you don't do anything about it they will take you to the grave hallelujah mm. many families let me tell you are suffering this mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain just comes upon a man and a family there are some of us here you just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have hiv you have left you you lived a pure life hallelujah something has happened in the realm of the spirit i remember somebody i think it was here is on video that he slept quietly and in the night, somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school. You go and serve. You graduated with first class or two and five years down the line. There's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job. The manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity. 
but you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day, your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters, I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power it's in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. It's to break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I shared with us the testimony. Brothers and sisters, if not that I saw this woman, I would think it's a lie. I've heard about it, but I, I, was to, I was to experience it for myself. A woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man, half monkey. Half man, half monkey with hair. If not that I was sitting face to face with this woman, if I had another man of God say it, I may join those saying this is a lie, some exaggeration, just to make the message look powerful. I've seen all kinds of evil. But in the name that is above all names, there is an authority that must command the forces to bow. See, this is what happens to people. And you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life. Are you seeing? Many of us are struggling. You are trying to fight your health. You are trying to fight this, whereas there is a root problem. If that problem is not dealt with, you may be healed, but it will appear as something else. I hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree. How do you make a tree healthy? Do you clean the leaves? You add fertilizer at the root. How do you destroy a tree? You deal with the root. The Bible says the righteous is like a palm tree. Is that true? This is the mystery of total breakthrough. You must see every man like a tree. You waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once. When you address the problem, it's like somebody who is complaining of headache, but the real issue is typhoid fever. You can take Panadol again and again. You will receive temporary relief. But tonight, some things will be totally settled in the name of Jesus Christ. You will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up. Then job opens up. Then your academic opens up. And that's when you say, goodness. So this is it. A dear lady of ours, even while I was in Abuja last week, I, I met with her. This lady had worked for four years. Very hardworking lady. She was here, I remember that time. It's on video also. One fair lady that came from Abuja and I prayed for her. This lady for four years she had been working. No promotion, no benefits, no nothing. Every area of her life was grounded. I prayed for this lady and she went back to Abuja and her boss looked at her. He said, come, you've been working in this place. What has been done for you? Right now, this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere. When her friends heard about it, they say it's because you are fine. She says, have I not been here four years with the same pretty face? Nothing changes by itself till you force it to change. It will change one day is a dream. If you force it, it will change. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, you are standing outside. Students, you are, you are suffering things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing the wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears in the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people, lumps, fibroids, barrenness, cysts, all kinds of nonsense all around. Until you know the might of God, you will keep getting afraid of Satan. But when you know who God is, you will know once and for all that this devil, he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator. Who am I speaking to tonight? Is your season for real change. You can see, 
you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah But the Lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives. Listen, many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families. You know we believe in family in this place, right? Your salvation is not complete until the members. He said, as for me and my house. Hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his genius were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue Tonight, God will settle some family. So, please take what I'm saying seriously. I'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray. Hallelujah. There are some of you, anytime somebody wants to bless you, something will happen to that person and just scatter him. Somebody says, I want to bless your family. Everything becomes grounded. There are some of us who are in ministry. You have done everything you know. Groundbreaking, prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory hallelujah and in a few minutes we have to pray before i begin to minister brothers and sisters i want you to pray and say father visit me i didn't just come to watch others and clap hallelujah the power of god is present to heal no matter what the sickness is no matter what the sickness is believe is it cancer is it hiv is it fibroid is it genotype issue no matter what it is you are stranded in whatever area of your life please position yourself because god is about to do mighty things right now no matter how far you are inside or outside talk to the lord don't be joking this is about your destiny this is your chance for exchange of story say lord i'm tired i'm tired of clapping for others lord visit me i want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness tired of this sickle cell anemia jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that hiv to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful he paid the price he paid the price go ahead and pray and say jesus you have paid the price jesus you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family we are tired of this hardship it's not your will for us to continue in this hardship and Lord, like Jacob, we hold on to you tonight. 
we will not let you go till you change our story come on pray koinonia we will not let you go those outside are you praying lord change my story academically i'm tired of writing charm again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished hiv is finished The devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and say my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe hallelujah hallelujah the power of god is in this place i believe lord i believe listen 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 let me tell you something hallelujah the man who laid down at bethesda he'd been like that for 38 years there is a way a situation has been so long in your life even when they are telling you god would change it you say lord change the rest tonight do not leave any stone unturned are you getting my point whatever it is you're trusting god for many of us left different states many of us left different local governments i like you to pray and say lord for this and that and that area of my life he must give way to yes lord it must give way tonight it must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Oh, she hallelujah hallelujah listen powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go hallelujah i see miracle everywhere miracle everywhere I see miracles everywhere right now, right miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles right now. 
Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Ay, 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 ay. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The, the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God. My God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus! I give the chains. Those outside, lift your head. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your head. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Power, 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay, delay, delay. The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up, God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of delay across this row. Go, 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 Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she take a papa tapa tapa then great tapa take a lebo shotaba go patalaba let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I do the chase. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! brother in the name of jesus christ i prophesy to you look at me things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you i'm seeing this I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. 
Victoria. Ah. Well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the curse. This, this is, I'm saying, this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every cause of marital delay. Lift up people now. 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 Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect it. Outside. 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 I break the curse. 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 I the Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says, May 
male and female he created them not male and male not female and female lift your hands in the name that is above all names if there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the lord god of israel lives right now may the fire of the holy ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the holy ghost every heart of witchcraft that has tied families we release you right now hallelujah goodness god is setting families free. oh the devil must give up on you tonight yes he will yes he will Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I cause that spirit. Go! Go out of her right now in the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things god is just setting people free are you getting my point i like us to just flow with what god is doing right now thank you jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus Christ we break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus look at me your family it's not even you now you are a worker in this house and as a worker you are entitled to certain blessings huh? your family there is a cause of hardship upon your family your entire family hold my hands you must be free right now let her go representing her family in the name of Jesus I plead the blood what is this that I see in the spirit you must let her go because she's a faithful worker in this house in the name of Jesus out of her in the name of Jesus Christ I release your family I release your family I release your family in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me the vision of a tree 
and I'm seeing it tied with ropes tied with ropes this is what I'm seeing in the spirit is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but I release it right now I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go protect be released now hallelujah 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening many of you will leave this place you will be surprised just believe me there is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wild fire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wild fire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain to break every chain hallelujah who is salome there is a wild spirit in this lady's family this lady you're seeing let her go now this is benway state in the name of jesus release this family now release this family now Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? Like treasure. Or don't tell lies here, oh please. You are the one? What is what's your name? No, no, Salome, just wait here. You are the one? Salome. The, the meaning of your name I'm going to pray for you Salome where's your mother she's at home where we need to pray God wants to give your family breakthrough out of her now out of her out out right now out out of her out bring them she parata barigate bragade boxa ni va so paria tabaria doste ke barata ta i prato se palia na bakose ke de bragadia reteste barata bakose ke de ba si banda bako i set your family free right now by the fire of the holy ghost now 
be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out. Out. Be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue and say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood of God. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't. We believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting. No nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something, whatever it is. Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer oh, cases, whatever it is, genotype, Lord, don't worry, Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is His 
presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Oh, I am Lord. Oh, I am Lord. The healing is His presence is here to heal. To heal. Son of man, can this bone? hallelujah i want you to know whatever the situation is there is a god we are not against doctors we have doctors here as workers but let me tell you it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best when you have done your best leave it all to jesus christ thank you jesus christ we are going to pray for you hallelujah listen I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jakes is deeply in the spirit, so just let him, when he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. Make sure you go back and begin to check yourself. God is healing people. Come and see in the presence of Lord. Be healed. Hold on, please. Hold on. Hallelujah. Daddy, don't cry. What's wrong with you, sir? I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years. 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis uh, and it is a sign of stroke it gives me a sign of stroke is your father is your father come what did they tell him in the hospital sir he's having arthritis he's having deep. it's not just arthritis i'm seeing pile I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm pile. If I want to, if I want to, uh, is yourself? Is it myself? The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too, you are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. 
you have suffered with this pile even you it has embarrassed you it's just something you cannot tell people because i'm seeing that if they don't help you start bending it will start like your leg will start paining you the same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you you've done for me what no man can do Jehovah Imela. Jehovah Jehovah you done, done for me, me. What no one else will do Say you may love Jehovah Daddy There is a name That is greater than any ancestry You will be the first to be healed Come hold my hand Pile Go now You are a devil of darkness I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke, I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. 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 Look at this. 30 years stroke. 30 years stroke. 30 years stroke. Come on now, look at, look at, look at, look at what is happening to me. 30 years stroke. Come on, give Jesus praise. 30 years stroke. Look at, look at, look at this man. Come on, son. Hey, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Ah. Come on now, hold on, hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no pain. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. Praise, praise, praise. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Dance to the shame of the, the devil. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen in the name that is above all names. I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. Alright. Sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know he couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. 
help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. Let's when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. That you can no longer conceive. Why? Because one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be begun? <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that, carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. Bro. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister. She's not here. That one. Is she around? Come. Come. Come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh, bless the me. Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache. Can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is saying amen. Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. 
I command that you get pregnant, give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. You will return with your miracle children. I will attend to everybody now. We'll be very, very fast so that we can save time. Worship team, please. My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro nane aje Israel. Aje Israel zin. She she ena aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission, Abuja. So se sote kefi ya lidi ni ya ni south south. Se ya ni edo guda kudu si Jesus dukeshi. So ke chile she the go fourth floor. So yet the shark is a so a carba pudi a wajeshi. Twenty December fourteen. In a Palma a Israel. She ne asa na che. Am I naiki enzu? Hari enzu? Am I enzu? Look at chinde ya fadi. Anche baza yu bunga na ba. Baza yu rubu tuba. Baza yu te fia ba. Ogasi ya che tu achiga ba de treating dishi. Ya yu adua Allah ya gya mchi. Baza yu te fia. Baza yu bunga na. Baza yu rubu tu. Tuna yeso, yenzunge na rubutu, yena magana, amakofa dile, bifara tefiyama. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost, kabala toza tabaranda kalibata, zidelem brashko brande kalabati la kabraste brasti satabala, mande ke braske la tosko bari dalaba, in the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege Pochechet. Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that deathbed now. Your hands will write. Your eyes will see. Your feet will walk. Every broken bone. We mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying in Amiki Zafi sometimes go. You're back. Come and get the kafa. Harian as well. Add the kafa. They call it Senyin Kashi Abi. In Aosa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Aosa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. That's what? That's baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. Come. Come, come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. 
Walk, look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountain. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I'm collecting the prayer request very quickly start collecting the prayer request very quickly
Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. 
Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I curse evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me. I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be made whole. In Jesus name. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Give him a sleep and let him exercise in the leg. Give
to be before your presence came and changed me. It's over now. Over. with us we want to pray right now hallelujah god is setting people free please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very very important hallelujah god is going to be if you've not submitted your prayer request please do that just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly please one minute one minute one minute let's do this quickly all those connecting with us um through the internet they can just connect by faith hallelujah Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. 
If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Shele braka to la mane mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para bala braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 Rata tapa ya rapa la bra la la ba 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 la in no se i kapari onde in do o pari ala kabau se i la baha re i kapa on se i kapa na kada li i no se i ma kong se i ne panda ma re kong se prenda kong de i ri i pari on se i la ha ri no se i para i o se i la kabil ha mi a dash ka i na tanda kong de mi e kong ka i na tanda ba ha ra kan se o with his eyes of mercy he answers our prayer speedily lord your grace i see the angels of god come like flash of light real fast bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like ezekiah opened us his prayers before the lord and right before the prophet left the temple. Answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. Bakos i perioto shimile gambrong siki parodos sile branda karabadose. There's a particular case. Of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father. God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. 
let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you are saying, Jesus, I want to make it right with you. Wherever you are, please, as I pray, I want you to march forward. You will be the first I'm going to pray for. There are people here right now, others, you've given your life to Christ, but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom. And you're saying, Lord, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for everybody. Everyone has joined the kingdom. You are the only one left. I'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now. Celebrate them. God bless you as you come. People are coming. God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly. Please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah people are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call but please we mean business this is very very serious god bless you our sister just join us very quickly say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for me tonight i make you my lord and savior i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit from today I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down in the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today the powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death we command that they are set free from it in the name of Jesus Christ do wonders in their lives make mighty men and women out of them in the name of Jesus Christ we celebrate you we love you we honor you thank you for making this great decision now I like you to follow the ushers the people with blue and black hallelujah follow the gentleman this side just follow them they will have your details 
and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's, she's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I command breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Every closed door over your destiny. Be open now. Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, what shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names. May an anointing for favor. A real anointing with proofs. May it come upon your life now. Receive favor now. Favor with God. Favor with man. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. And the king, whoever needs to send for you, who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life, I call them into your life now. I call them into your life now. In the name of the son of the living God. Destiny help us. Share the word of the Lord. I command divine connections. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, And thou shalt increase my greatness. And comfort me round about. Let me tell you the truth. The Lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity. Therefore I prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness ah huh? the bible says the vine dress are passed and saw them idle. He said, why sittest thou idle? He said, no man employ us. And he told them, go to the vine. There is always work when God speaks. He saw them idle. He said, why sittest we thou? There are many people here trusting God for jobs. Right now, in the name that is above all names. Between now and next miracle service, receive your miracle job. I prophesy it. I release it. For you and for your family members, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. There are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace. The Bible says, listen, the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south. 
God can take a man from a dunghill and place him above. Even if you are not walking, you can stand for your loved ones. Man, they cap a lot of I pray as surely as the God of heaven leaves, whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered, we release it now. We release it now. We release it now. We release it now. Hallelujah. And Elijah told his servant, he said, check. And he came back. He said, there is nothing. He said, go and check again. And he said, I saw a cloud like the feast of a man. I pray in the name that is above all names. Let there be the sound of abundance. I provoke abundance right now. I provoke abundance in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that started this work, that same hand shall complete it. Whatever you and your family members have started, I don't care what the project is, whatever resource is required, receive the finisher's anointing. Receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone trusting God for a godly relationship and marriage. My Bible tells me male and female, he created them. He didn't say male and male. He says, seek out of the book and read. None of these words shall fail. None shall want a mate. I declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally, as surely as the God of heaven lives right now, I release you. I command your exodus now. I command your exodus right now. For those trusting God for resources, you want to marry but you are tied down financially. And the Lord told Elijah, go to the brook Cherith. There a raven will come and feed you. We provoke the mystery of divine supply. He said, you shall not see the wind. You shall not see rain. But the valley shall be filled with water. I command supply right now. By the favor of the Lord God of Israel. Let there be supply. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country. He said, whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus. From today, whatever you do with these hands, may they be blessed. May they produce remarkable results. Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Amen. Scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare, anyone marked for death here, or any family marked for death, either by witchcraft, bomb blast, assassins, or any kind of political wickedness, the blood of Jesus separates you from the spirit of death. 
you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of Jesus the Bible says as for me and my house I prayed for you now I pray for your house in the name that is above all names whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house we change that report right now whatever has mocked the God of Israel Sarah said those who laugh at me have now laughed with me I declare we change the story of your family and his mother named him Jabez because she said I bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you Jesus I pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost please lift your hands just I just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the spirit all kinds of gifts of the spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings healing anointings take it take it take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place i command it to come back alive every dead word life i command it to come back alive now go and heal the sick go and cast out devils i call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven go and represent the value system of heaven go and be a light change people's situations speak over their lives hallelujah give jesus praise hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.